Hi everyone. So there's someone that I want you all to meet. So, my last video was two weeks ago, yeah, so six days before I actually gave birth. Luke was born Saturday the 13th of November. What's wrong with your hiccups? Hiccups. <laughs> and today is his actual due date, which is the 21st of November. So he was a week and a day early. So you're a week and a day old today. And he's a very hiccupy baby. Hiccup. <laughs> I don't know why. He's he's perfect in my eyes. So yeah, um, I thought I would do a little baby banner update, or is it a baby look update? <laughs> His hiccups make me laugh, but then I'm kind of like, is it kind of cruel because he's got hiccups? <laughs> um. So Luke was born. A very fast labour, I will say that. Um, so I actually had my first contraction on Saturday the 13th at... Oh! At um, 5.57am. Um, um, and I, d I didn't think anything of it. Like, to me, it just felt like a period cramp. But it, like, went, like, period cramp and then released. Um, so I was like, okay, that's one well, let's time them so i actually uh, downloaded an app quite quickly um that you can time your contractions and how frequent they are half an hour later um around about half six i actually messaged mikey who was at work at the time being like i don't want to worry you but i've been getting cramping um for the past half an hour and he was like well if you're worried ring like the antenatal ward i'm like no i'm fine i'm fine um I'll wait till you get home. He finished work at half seven. So he actually got home at like eight and I rang um, the antenatal and they told me that I wasn't in labour and um, to go for a walk. <laughs> Let me tell you, I did not go for a walk. I went in the bath um, and I started messaging my sister-in-law about Gorilla Glue. Yeah, Gorilla Glue. Um, and about... 10 o'clock or something um, I was actually watching young Sheldon in the bath yes oh dear hiccup I was actually watching young Sheldon in the bath um, I'd actually made a labour playlist to listen to but I didn't listen to it at all I thought I'd watch young Sheldon instead yeah <gasps> ah. um, and I got out of the bath at about 10 because everything got more intense yes you was well on your way uh oh um, and I woke Mikey up who had gone for a wee nap because he was on awaken nights um, and he called my mum to come get us um, and then we rang Auntie Nato again because I started bleeding yes and we got us to the hospitals yeah literally got into the labour ward wasn't even on the bed and my body started to try and push you out yeah um, but I was only five centimetres dilated, which was a problem. So, little Lukey Bear. Why are you sucking your hand? You had the dodies. Do you want your dodie again? No. Okay, you want your hand instead. Um, and so he got stuck. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you did. So he had a massive bruise on his head and was quite swollen. Um, but he was alright and I only gave birth with gas and air which take the gas and air I was one of these people I was like I'm not going to take no gas and air are you going to move your hand I was like I'm not going to take gas and air but I just took the gas and air and I think I sucked it out the wall to be honest um, so Luke was born at 3.27pm 
after about three and a half hours of pushing. Yes. But you were fine and you were born with jaundice and because of the bruise that was quite bad. But he's flushing his jaundice out now and I'm very bruised and needed him um, seven stitches. Um, but yeah, everything went actually fine. And um, this whole hypnobirthing thing that I'd done, it was quite funny because Mikey was like, oh, you didn't think about like any of that or do anything that they said, like, or like the playlist and stuff. But like when it came down to it for me, just chatting to Mikey and not having him go, oh my God, you're in labor. Or like just chatting to my sister-in-law like it was a normal day, um, not being like, oh, I'm in labor. and you know just like chatting about stupid things like i'm always going to remember like going into labor and chatting to my sister-in-law about gorilla glue um and watching young sheldon and you know I, it wasn't a panic like when i was in labor like pushing i didn't want to move and apparently mikey was like i kept on saying when they tried to move me to different positions i kept on going nah nah um but the midwives were absolutely amazing um, and it was a student midwife who actually delivered Luke um, and a newly qualified midwife and they were absolutely brilliant I couldn't have asked for better people um, and they were so supportive they weren't panicking and you know they didn't make me panicked um, they kept me calm throughout the whole thing and Mikey was amazing Mikey watched the whole thing which he said he wasn't going to do daddy said he wasn't going to watch you being born but he saw you being born yeah so it actually went really well and the hypnobirthing classes for me just knowing kind of what happens because like in my normal midwife appointment they don't explain what happens or what to bring with you to the hospital which we got all wrong because luke was only five pounds 15 ounces so all the clothes that we bought were way too big couldn't even see your tootsies You've still got hiccups. He doesn't care. Um, and yeah, it all went really well. We did have to stay in overnight. So we went home on Sunday the 14th because um, because his delivery was really quite quick and he was really bruised. Um, Luke wasn't eating and he wasn't um, taken from bottle or breast. Um, so they were quite concerned about that, weren't they, little Lukey Bear? Um, but about half one on the Sunday morning, you ate, finally. Yeah, and the midwives were happy for you to go home in the mornings. Yeah. We were quite worried that you weren't eating. You weren't taking any breast or any bottle, no. Um, but it was quite funny on, when was it? Wednesdays. Yeah, you decide, finally decided you wanted to breastfeed for a little bit. Um, but he's taking breast and bottle, formula and breast milk. So to me, as long as he's eating, it doesn't matter if it's formula or breast. As long as he's eating, that's the, that's the main thing. And I wish you would get rid of these hiccups. Wish you get rid of these hiccups. You just hiccup all the time. He gets hiccups randomly, like even though people, even though he's like not eating for a while, you'll just randomly get hiccups. But the first week of um, being a mum, it's been quite weird. Um, but I will say this to anyone: um, obviously, I don't know what it's like in different places. Obviously, I'm in Scotland. Um, the midwives they come out the next day after you've come home so the midwife came out on monday and tuesday they came out on thursday and um they were coming out on monday again um but they did say to me that if even if i wanted a midwife to come in every day and check that luke and me were okay they would do that so i would say that you do have a support you're not just leave the hospital and left um which for me was a great security because I could ask any questions or if I was worried about something, I'm like, oh, it's fine. Midwife's coming out tomorrow. Um, or I can ring and a midwife can be out to the house. Um, so yeah, 
And on, when was it? Friday the 19th, um, you registered as birth in Kirkcaldy. So you've now got your birth certificate. So you're an official person. So yeah, any questions that anyone wants to ask? Um, obviously I only know from one experience, this one, um, and especially being autistic um, and a mother, I was not judged, I was not discriminated against, I was never questioned on my abilities to be a mum throughout the whole pregnancy and birth um, and after birth. Um, the midwives in the hospital made sure that we were okay to go home, like we were comfortable. They didn't force us out of the hospital, it wasn't like, oh you've given birth, um, you're all stitched up now, leave kind of thing. Um, they were happy to go over how to change a nappy if you hadn't done that before. Um, they were happy to sh talk you over first feeding. They were happy to even show you how to bath him and give him his first bath at the hospital. Yeah? Oh dear, you're still hungry. You're still hungry. Shall we get you some food? As he's wanting a feed, I have to show you this. Mikey bought. We had a wee warmer, but Mikey didn't like it. So he bought this. This is Tommy Tippy's bought perfect bottle making thing. So you select the food size. Um, okay, four ounces, add formula powder, have done that. Place bottle on stuff. It's like an espresso making machine for babies. It's just. <laughs> so, yeah. So I've shaked it all up and then it adds cold water. Place back on stand. Literally, we don't even have a coffee machine, but Luke has his own bottle making machine. The things that Mikey buys for Luke. <laughs> can I just say, we've bought loads of stuff for little Lukey Bear, but then, but then I can never remember where I put the damn things. Right, can I put this on your neck? Ready for food? Not the boob. They're not coming out the boob today. Not right now. Okay. Right. So yeah, what I was saying. I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, they don't force you out of the hospital. They make sure you know that you're comfortable. Um, and you can stay. I think the hypnobirth and midwife said to us that you can stay if unless there's complications and they have to keep you in longer. You can stay in hospital up to 24 hours after giving birth. Um, we came home on the Sunday at lunchtime, but we could have stayed an extra few hours and gone over, um, you know, how to bath them. Um, and they also offer, um, in the hospital I was at, I'm guessing it would be the same in other hospitals in Scotland, they do also say about contraception and if you wanted, you know, any contraception before leaving the hospital and stuff like that, like, the implant or the coil or whatever and um, so that was offered um, and they do talk you over that and um, so you're not just shoved out the door which was my thought on it that we would just be told to leave after giving birth but it wasn't like that at all um, and they've actually been like so supportive and non-judgmental and um, so yeah it was actually a really good experience yes it was a good experience Although, when I got home and I was talking to Mikey about the birth, there's stuff that happens that you don't have any recollection of. Um, so things I said during birth, which I did write down when I got up to the ward. Um, I smelled fanny was one of them. It's like giving birth to a coconut was another one. Yes, it did feel like I was giving birth to a coconut. You're my little coconut. Luke's not sure. <laughs> um, I kept on wanting to swear quite a lot. Um, Mikey said I farted in a midwife's face. I don't remember that. You do shit yourself during birth, but you you have n absolutely no idea it's happened. Um, I had no idea, but Mikey told me I did. And Luke came out facing towards me, so you were facing the wrong way, and pooing. You did. You came out pooing. So that was nice. Um, my body did go into shock. Um, well, my body and mind went into shock when I saw him for the first time. Yes. But a good shock. 
It's a good shock. I can't believe such a little tiny thing came out of me and you're going to get me covered in milk. And you're peeing. He's peeing. So I think we'll end the video while you're feeding and peeing at the same time. In one end and out the other. <laughs>